So, Michael, every day we hear a new story about Michael Cohen. Uh, he had the secret uh, Trump recordings from Trump Tower. Remember that? He, and he's, he says that Trump knew about that meeting. Uh, so what's it going to take to get this guy to bring him down, do you think? Well, I think Michael Cohen is in a very unique situation right now in that I think he's deciding what he's going to do. Um, he hasn't decided whether he wants to come 100% clean or not. I think in some ways he's still waiting for the president to appear in this very dark forest and lead him out to salvation. And he's still hoping for a, a, a pardon, uh, yeah. although that hope is diminishing. Uh, I think eventually he's going to get to a place where he's going to come 100% clean and, and tell people in the American public what he knows. Uh, but this is he, a guy. Some of those issues are New York based, so, they, uh, so Trump couldn't pardon him. That's correct. If, if state prosecutors actually pursued they, potential the charges in, 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 in New York, which it's questionable as to whether they're going to do that. But if there's anyone uh, that has leverage over this president, uh, with the exception of Vladdy Putin, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Michael Cohen. And I think ultimately the president is going to regret not keeping this guy in the tent, not keeping him close, because I think that Michael Cohen uh, knows He's where a lot, of, a lot of bodies are buried. Yeah, but, but Michael Cohen said that Trump knew about that meeting mm -hmm. that Donald Jr. had and Manafort was in that meeting. Is there anybody besides Cohen that could corroborate that information, that Donald did know that? I mean, just his word against his is not good enough, right? Well, I think it may be good enough. I mean, let's be honest. I don't think either one of these two guys, Trump or Cohen, have the most credibility in the world. But I think between the two of them, Michael Cohen probably wins that uh, credibility contest, although well, it's a close call. You know, Michael, <laughs> as much as I, I, I mean, for me, you know, I, I like frogs better than I like Donald Trump, and I hate frogs. Mm -hmm. But I'm really bothered by a lawyer recording his client. How do you feel about it? Well, I, I think it's improper. There's no question about that. I mean, Michael Cohen should not have been recording his client, should not have been recording Chris Cuomo and, and lying to others. But it wasn't illegal. It was unethical, right. perhaps. But well, was it illegal? Well, it wasn't illegal here in New York because it's what's called a single consent state. Right. As long as one party consents, you're fine. But, you know, in retrospect, I'm glad Michael Cohen did take those recordings of yeah, his communications with Donald Trump. And right. we may all, all be very fortunate because mm -hmm. he did so. But he's got to do the right thing and he's got to come clean. And if he's not interested in doing that, then let the chips fall where they may. And Donald Trump waived the privilege. I mean, perhaps those, those tapes would have been privileged and we wouldn't be talking about it. I don't know why Donald would, would waive the privilege, but he did. And I think, again, we've demanded the release of the tapes, and I think everyone here and everyone that's watching the show, I mean, you deserve to know what happened in connection with this. You deserve to know what your leaders have done and whether they've covered up things and whether they've committed crimes. And it's just that simple. Everyone should be demanding the release of these tapes. They're of critical importance. Michael, in May, when you came on here, you promised that Trump would resign over the Stormy Daniels payments. How's that looking right now? Well, that's not exactly what I said. What I said was that okay. I predicted that he would not serve out his term and that ultimately Michael Cohen would flip on the president. We've got two years left. We're going to see... Well, what specifically about Stormy Daniels payments? We're, we're going to see what happens relating to the president. And I think ultimately we're going to find out that the president knew every bit about the $130,000 payment, arranged the reimbursement, and conspired with Michael Cohen to cover it up uh, due to campaign finance disclosures. And I think that's what it's going to show. Do you remember when you tweeted that picture of the DVD saying there's information on it? Do you have anything else you can tell me about this DVD? As soon as we get it back from law enforcement, I'll be happy to talk about it. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Then. I have a question. Now, we, we've talked about the fact that Cohen made the recording that we've all heard of, but there are other recordings as well. But my understanding is that Donald Trump's voice is not on that recording, or on those recordings. Why do you think there's something damaging on those recordings? Well, that's, that's not accurate. The, okay. the, the single recording that was released about a week or two ago is not the only recording with Donald Trump's voice. I can uh, tell you that uh -huh. for a fact. There are other recordings. Uh -huh. And this is another reason why we've demanded that all of the recordings be released so that people can listen to them, the press can go through them and report on them. Period. So how many more have uh, Donald Trump's voice on? Uh, a number of them. I don't have an exact count, but I know that there's certainly more than one. Do they have anything to do with the DVD? Do they have Tapes? anything to do with the DVD? <laughs> uh, that's a really good question. You know, you're, you're a good questioner. Um, As your attorney, you don't lawyer. have to answer that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a pass on that You're going to take a pass on it? I'm going to take a pass. You are. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for the assist. <laughs> so, I, I've got, you know, so lately to me, you're like the Holy Spirit. You are <laughs> all places <laughs> at all times, right? <laughs> I mean, you, I, I do, I see you all over cable news. I see you, you know, there is a, a, a seat available if you want to be a co-host at The View. You might, you know, there's people here you can pitch. <laughs> He'd make a great lady around the table. <laughs> no, but, um, Thank you. So, and I see, and I have the same issue with Giuliani. He's everywhere. Like I, and so I, I question myself when I see Giuliani, when I, I see you on TV so much, when do you have time to be lawyering, to be doing like real lawyering? Because you're in, I mean, you're representing, you know, migrants, well, you're representing. But he has a great, bigger calling here. That being a lawyer is minimal compared to what he's doing. The priesthood? What a, whatever. <laughs> he's out there saving the Look, country. It, you know what? I'm, I'm very fortunate in that I'm surrounded by a staff and other very qualified attorneys and people that support me and that are doing great work. Yeah. Uh, relating to our cases mm -hmm. and the work that we've done. And, and look, uh, we've published a lot of our filings in the case. People can look at the quality of the work that we've done from a legal basis. And this is a two-pronged fight. Let's be clear about this. This is a fight not only in the court of law, but also in the court of public opinion. And the amount of media attention that we have received and the amount of media appearances that I've made has actually benefited my client, Stormy Daniels, and others significantly because people have fed us information that we otherwise would not have that's and right. whistleblowers have come forward and that's proved to be very very valuable not just to uh, my clients but also to others because we're disclosing information anyway tr trump is ubiquitous why can't he be on television all the time we, just, we have to watch uh, that guy every single minute <laughs> he is the president of the united states he is yeah. <laughs> not mine not mine sorry <laughs> uh, Michael, a judge just denied Cohen's request to slap a gag order on you and to stop your immediate appearances, but he did call you out for, quote, your incessant commentary. You've done over 200 TV appearances, you're guest hosting here today. Do you think fame hurts your credibility at all? No, actually, I think it adds to the credibility for the reason that I just mentioned, and I think it's resulted in a lot of positives. Uh, relating to my clients and the cases because again I, just last night I mean I got an email from somebody that has some information that may prove to be very very valuable and if we were not out there if I was not out there none right, of that right. would be mm -hmm. would be happening and, and look we live in a different age now and this is not your standard case this is a case that has huge pub public attention on it for good reason and we're gonna continue to do what we've been doing because it works can this I say that I would normally agree with that but when you yeah. go on late night shows with Anthony Scaramucci for me that diminishes what you're saying thanks to the one fan I have in here by the way I think under if you're doing normal cable news hits I would even say this show but I think late night appearances with Anthony Scaramucci makes me think different did, did you watch the appearance mm -hmm. okay well then if you watch the appearance you know that we talked about some substantive issues he's not the and, type of person you should Steven. be on he's a show pony and I don't and that's we've fine. had him on the show yeah, too, of the Trump it's true you guys are, it's fine. So I, I, I've, I've, I've just, heard you guys are, are giving uh, my pitching, view uh, on the view I've heard you guys were pitching <laughs> You and the Mooch, Thank you. Uh, it's, you know, it's been widely reported that you and the Mooch were at one point shopping a joint uh, host, you know, there's hosting not, deal. There's not TV. going to be any Don't show. We're not, we're not shopping any show. I mean, rule number one, never no. have a TV show with a guy whose first name is The. <laughs> As your attorney, I advise against Thank the show you. with him. Thank you. And you have another question or not? We don't have time. I, we'll be right oh. back. I, I have one. <laughs>